everyone, I'm Emily Teacher and today we're going to read Danger, Hungry Plants. Everyone knows that animals eat plants. There is nothing unusual about that. But have you heard of plants that eat animals? Let's discover where some of them live. Let's learn how they get their food. So let's read about these interesting plants that actually eat animals. Growing in the wild only along the coast of North and South Carolina is a plant with unusual eating habits. Okay, so these are plants that usually grow in the United States of America in two states, North and South Carolina. It is called the Venus flytrap. It grows well in the sunny weather that the Carolinas enjoy most of the year. The best places to see it are in marshy areas where the soil is poor. Poor soil does not matter to the Venus flytrap. It is different from most plants. The Venus flytrap does not rely on its roots to supply the food it needs. That's very important. It does not rely on its roots to supply the food it needs. The Venus flytrap grows to a height of about 12 inches and has little white flowers. Each of its leaves has a hinge running down the middle with a row of tiny spines along each side. When an insect lands on one of them, the leaf snaps shut, trapping the creature inside like a prisoner behind bars. Oh, okay, so the Venus flytrap has a hinge on it, kind of like a door. The center of each leaf is a rich red color. To a fly, this looks like raw meat. That's exactly what flies like to feed on. The plant also has a sweet smell. This attracts other insects. The Venus flytrap is not finicky. It eats whatever it can catch. That includes different kinds of insects and ants. It even eats small frogs or lizards. Once attracted by the smell, an insect coming closer has no idea of the danger it is in. The insect sees what looks like fresh meat. It lands, then the leaf closes on the creature. The insect can't break free. The more it struggles, the tighter it is held. The plant then starts to digest its meal. It does this in much the same way your stomach breaks down the food you eat. In a week to 10 days, the plant has absorbed or taken in everything it needs. The leaf then opens and gets rid of what is left. You do not have to go to North or South Carolina to see these interesting plants. You can grow them yourself at home. A nursery will sell you young plants. The Venus flytrap plant will thrive in a goldfish bowl or a large glass jar. Place a few inches of wet moss mixed with sand in the bottom of the bowl. Cover the roots of the plant with it. Keep the temperature around 75 degrees during the summer months. In winter, move the plant to a cooler spot around 40 degrees. Make sure the sand mixture stays moist during the growing season. Water it a little each day instead of letting it get dry and then soaking it. Rainwater is better than water from the tap. To feed the Venus flytrap, drop a couple of live ants or small insects into the container from time to time. Keep it covered so that the insects cannot escape. Place it in a spot where it gets plenty of light. Then watch what happens. Thanks for reading together with me today. We have links related to each story. And if you would like the link for this video, you can find it down in the description below.